Hey, how's it going? My name's Luke Bosworth, and I'm driving across the United States with a random stranger I met on Instagram. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Dude. How's it going, man? Nice to meet you, actually. Though. Dude, you too. Yeah, you can just like literally throw it on that. Uh, let the filming begin. No knives, no weapons. <laughs> I'm an innocent He's bystander. Good. He's good. I'm Hello. introducing Diego. Hello, everyone. He, I'm Diego. He is the first person to respond to my Instagram. I put something on Instagram about who wants to drive across the United States, and uh, he was the first one and the lucky That's winner. Real long. Eight hours, 50 minutes to North Carolina. Uh, filling up gas. This is about the third time we filled up gas so far on the trip. My car does not get very good mileage. Probably like 20 miles per gallon. Pretty good for a truck, I guess. It's been so nice having someone in the car with me and to keep company. I mean, time has flown by today, like, so quick. And so we've just been talking about our families, all of our travels, ourselves. Uh, but it's been a great time so far. We got 40 minutes left until our campsite for the night. Uh, hopefully we find one. Nothing confirmed yet, but hopefully there is one. We've made it to North Carolina. We are in Pisgah National Forest. We were, uh, we kind of came here with no plan or no campsite. And we were looking around and we just decided to come here. And we arrived here and we're like, hey, do you have any camping? She's like, no, but one person canceled. So you get the spot for free. So we're camping here for free. So and it was booked fully. This is awesome. It's like, it is, <laughs> it's raining a little bit. <laughs> Dave, you ever set up a tent? No. You, have you ever camped in a tent? No. Tent is set up. That was Diego's first time ever setting up a tent. It's so cool that I'm getting to show him all these new experiences. I feel like I don't. <laughs> He's self conscious about it, by the way. Orange chicken and what is this? Vegetable fried rice. Delicious. It's really, really good. Homemade. Homemade straight. From scratch. Straight from the freezer. <laughs> oh, sh we warmed it up though, and that's what matters. Oh my god, there's a cockroach. Oh shoot. Not anymore, there's not. Extra protein. So to recap today, we drove from Florida all the way to North Carolina, up here in Hendersonville, kind of near Asheville area. And we're up here because we're getting my camper, my go fast camper tomorrow, like literally 10 minutes down the road. Boy, hey. get out of here. <laughs> this raccoon <laughs> is about to die. <laughs> the raccoon didn't die this time, but <laughs> next time it's, it's done. What was your thoughts about the first day, media stranger driving nine hours with them? I thought that I hated them my whole time there and I really wanted to go home and I was like, bro, like, what did I get myself into? Nah, I'm just kidding. Luke is, a, Luke is an amazing guy, but guys, hold on, wait, read him. I'm paying him to say this. <laughs> <laughs> Luke is an amazing guy. Um, I love, so far, we've had a great conversations. We've had a great time and it's only like the first day. So I'm like very optimistic on like what we are gonna get to experience soon. Mm -hmm. And like it's only a matter of time and I'm I'm so glad that you live like in Orlando so It that, worked out perfect. Yeah, he lives like 20 minutes from me, which is crazy like 
we don't have to worry about like there are cool people where you live you just have to search high and low post on your instagram story yeah if they want to go on a road trip with you wait what would you rate today on a scale from one to ten i'm giving it a ten okay because like what else could have been better i know what was like a one was one like me killing you i would say so yeah, yeah. i would say that's like probably like the worst that's a big scale <laughs> <laughs> What the hell is that? That big <laughs> <laughs> Day one was a wrap. Is a wrap. Let's go to bed. Good night, y'all. Oh, also we're sleeping in the same tent. Yes, the first time we met we're sleeping in the same tent. But it's cool. What's weird about it, guys? It's cool, you know. It's only weird if you make it weird. It is really nice waking up and already being outside. Enjoy. I just purchased the Goat Pass camper. This is gonna be epic. This is what I'll be living in out west for the next two months in. It's gonna be an amazing time. I have the best setup in the world. I wanted to go fast camper forever, couldn't find them, and finally I found one in North Carolina, which is kind of on the way to Colorado. So I picked it up and uh, just like, oh my brain is lagging. I'm I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I cannot believe this is happening. Everything's gonna work out. I'm so excited though, I'm so excited. Diego, you're the man, dude. Thanks for helping. I am the man, bro, what can I say? <laughs> I could not have done it without Diego's help, Brandon's help for selling me the Go Fast Camper and help move me to my truck. Yeah, there's two other guys that helped us too, which was really, really nice. Takes a village, takes a village to get somewhere. Oh God, that was heavy too. Oh my gosh, yeah, the Go Fast Camper is way heavier than we thought. Honestly, when we lifted it up, I was like, there's no way we're getting it on my truck, from his truck onto my truck, but it worked. Diego is taking over driving for a little bit today. Oh, yeah. I think he's gonna drive until sunset, and then after that, since he has astigmatism. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> after sunset, he's gonna let me drive, and then I'm gonna drive all night. Uh, I think we're gonna pass Kansas City. We're gonna drive 24 hours straight, basically, all the way there. See how it goes. Hopefully, make it there in one piece. Hopefully, make it there in one piece. We have stopped driving to go look at a waterfall on the side of the road. Hopefully we can swim. Alright, well, that was pretty lame. There was like no water coming out of it. I thought it was cool. Good little stop on the drive, I guess. There's a lot of people here because it's right off the road. They all got the same idea. Like, it's sunset right now. We just made to Arkansas. I think Jago's driven like nine hours today. Maybe about that. It's been Ten, a beast. Nine. What a beast. I've been sleeping. I drove all day yesterday. Uh, so we're about even on driving now. I think I'm gonna take over for the night shift soon. How's the drive been? Across it's been America. great. It's been great. I mean, I've seen some cornfields. I've seen the Mississippi River. Saw some mountains. Saw some mountains, yup. I've seen about 2,500 acres of cornfield so far. <laughs> wow, okay. Alrighty. I'm so tired. Oh, Lord. I just drove all night, about seven hours. I drove across Oklahoma. We're almost across Texas. Now we're going to New Mexico and then Colorado. Wait, no, Arizona. We've got a couple more states into Colorado, that's all I know. Diego's taking over again. I think I've gone through every stage of a road trip now. Like, happy, sad, grief, pain. What are we, what are we griefing about? Loss. 
Do you have any words before you start to drive? When they say that the destination doesn't matter, it's about the journey, they're lying. <laughs> We made it to Colorado! Woo! Let's go! Let's go! God! After a long journey of just uh, mist and How many states? I'll put the states right here. How many states we've been to? But man, what a trip it's been. It's been crazy. Gosh, gone through. It's been an adventure of a lifetime for sure. That's why you say yes to strangers. Because yes. you're going to be in places like this. What would I have been doing today? You would have been like at now? home doing just homework. Just nothing. Like, what's, what even is that, bro? Like, Dude. In 10 years, what I'm going to remember most? The homework or this trip? Now, we are going to this place called San Juan Mountains in Colorado, and it's apparently it's very, very beautiful. I uh, should arrive there at 2 today. We got like, what? Four, five, four, maybe. five more hours there. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, I'm lowering my tire pressure because there's a bunch of rocks in the road, and uh, I don't want to risk running a flat with too high of a pressure. We are officially in Colorado. Look, look at these mountains. This is look real. at this. This is real Colorado. We're on a, a back road right now, and. We've just been going on here for about an hour. Hopefully we don't get lost. Sun's kind of going down. Should probably find a campsite soon. It doesn't feel real. Like it feels like you're looking at a painting. I'm tired. We're both tired. I mean, we've only had probably four hours of sleep each in the last 48 hours. Not, not much. Look at this campsite right now. We are right on the river. Oh, we got a fire pit, watching the sunset. Gosh, I'm totally ruining Diego for any other camping. Sorry, Diego. He's never gonna be able to camp in Florida after this. <laughs> this is too good. A nice fire going, that freezing cold water. Dinner, some dinner. I think we're gonna take a quick dip in the river. It's very, very cold. Ooh, that's like 40s. That's like 40 degrees. Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> okay, three, two. Ooh. Okay, that was one of the coolest experiences I've ever had, like out of all my years of camping. We just had a deer come right up to our camp and just like check us out. He was munching on some little berries from a tree over there. But wow, that was weird. That was really weird, but amazing. All right, also Diego was about to go in the water. I went in before the deer and then the deer came in so we were checking out. And uh, it's gotten a little bit colder outside, so he's gonna have a little harder time in, in the water. Pray for me, please. We drove all the way out here. You gotta jump in the water, right? Yeah, Don't get sucked down. Okay, three, two. 
Four, you're back. Put your back in. Push it. Push. Oh, go under. Go under. Go under. Uh, that was crazy. Bro, I can't feel my body. Your whole body feels alive. I can't feel my body. It's crazy. I literally slipped because my feet, I got, there's no feeling in my lips. <laughs> can't even die. It's so cool. More of a... Oh my god. We are back, hitting the trail again today. We're doing the whole Alpine loop. Uh, it's around all these mountains. Yesterday's camp was insane though. I mean, we were right by the river, amazing fire. Uh, we slept in the go fast, both me and Diego, because it got really cold. Like, I think it was around like 40, maybe below 40s. Like, not expecting that all out here. I guess I gotta go and buy some sweatpants and some more warm weather gear. I thought it was summer everywhere, but I guess it gets cold here. Okay, let's go hit the trail. All right, we are on a four-wheel drive trail, and my car sadly does not have four-wheel drive. It has two-wheel drive. But I lowered the tire pressure. I mean, I think it's more about the driver than the car. But we're headed to a mountain lake right now. Hopefully we get there and not get stuck. Oh, that feels so good. It's cold, not as cold as the river yesterday though. Cold. It's pretty strange that in Colorado that the snow can stay year round in some spots. And Diego has never seen snow. So this is gonna be his first time ever seeing and touching natural snow. <laughs> it looks like it's cold. It looks like rock on camera. It's snow. Oh my gosh, Diego's first snowball, guys. This is like very good. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> that <laughs> Just like that, my kitchen is set up. I've been living by this quote recently. We do not remember days, we remember moments. And this is definitely one of those moments for me. We're fully immersed in the present, savoring each other's company and the natural beauty around us something that feels increasingly rare these days. Ultimately, what matters most at the end of our lives is the people we've shared it with and the moments we've created. That's why we both went on this journey. Diego is leaving! So sad, so sad. Sad days out here. We, what a trip. I mean, I, we've done so much, I can't even remember what we've done. We've been out for what, four days? Four days. Four days. It took two days to get to Colorado, and then we had two days in the mountains just camping out, having a blast. Uh, but all good things come to an end. And now we're in Breckenridge, Colorado. That's my final destination. I'm meeting up with my family for a little trip here. Diego's going back to Denver and then flying back to Florida. 
Um, Sadly, but I, I wish I could stay, man. I wish I could stay. I know, I know. Stupid family trip. <laughs> no, but I don't know. Was it worth it? I would say it was very much worth it, very and much. I'm so glad to have been able to experience this. Like, I think like people who? should just get out of their comfort zone more because who would have thought, you know, saying yes to driving across the country or halfway across the country with a stranger would lead to such like amazing memories. And who would have thought like we could find each other in our hometowns. You know, like everybody's right. traveling and like talks about their travel buddies and who they've met abroad, but I feel like people aren't searching in their hometowns enough, you know? Honestly, so, so look within, search look, within. Search within and then you can go travel abroad. Yeah. But <laughs> the people you want are in your hometown, you just gotta look for it. So, all right, let's go. Drop off Diego at his bus. See you, dude. Thank you so Good much. Luck. Uh, thank Good luck. Good luck, honestly. End of an era. That feels so weird. Like, Diego's gone. Just like that. And now, more adventures begin. But that was an amazing, amazing time with him. I'm so glad I reached out on my Instagram and asked if anybody wanted to go. And I truly don't think I could have found a better person for the ride and for the trip. So, Diego, you're the man. Thanks for coming along and driving and being my buddy for the trip. You guys should definitely go check out Diego's Instagram right here. It's always sad leaving somebody though. Especially when you've done a huge trip like go from Florida to Colorado, but everything comes to an end eventually Let's start a new adventure <laughs> That was so lame Guys! I'm doing van life! This is sick! Look at this! Woo. No guys, for real The van life's been amazing. Cannot wait for you guys to see this. Let's go! Guys, today... <laughs>